release. Any champion with any sort of crowd control for Bangi is going to be exciting, but now that Rise is locked in for Scout and Fire Lolly is back on that Lee Sin, that could be a bit of a spicy setup. A lot of lockdown damage. Fire Lolly gets the spot. Oh no, he's the one who's spotted. Dancing on top of a ward means he goes so low and gives up first blood to Bangi. He was right outside the brush. There's the suppression. He gets the arrow follow up heal. Tries to get the kick and follows up. Stan United is enough to shut it down. That's one kill. And the teleport was canceled in the meet. Ooh, Mouse walks into the river as Fire Lolly shows up. They're trading hits across each other. The cask is pretty big and the very long follow through from Fire Lolly. That was a long trip. The arrow making his way up there as well. And there's no vision from Mouse to spot this. He's on his own 1v3. He sees Bangi now, clears out most of the wave, casts and flashes the cocoon. So that means Bangi's taking all of this damage, but that's an Elise. She walks away, but here to his team, Scout cannot find a way in, flashes the cocoon, turns it around, and Long body blocks the shot. Fire Lolly falls to Long as Vici Gaming are winning this fight. And EDG just cannot get underneath this Shin's red zone defense. Mm -hmm. Long was doing such a great job making sure that Scout and Fire Lolly were consistently zoned away or eating the targeted taunt, or excuse me, taunt CC. Oh, they're forcing a fight bottom now. Great tidal wave resets, Mako. That's Flash. Stan United means Tron Tron P gets one. Looking for two as Mouse joins in. Long continues this killing spree as he will finish off Zet quite ungloriously and continues to turn it around. Mouse has left quite a long time ago. It's five to two, Beachy Gaming. Yeah, and Long just won two sides of the map. Zet is going to have to hit the arrow, and nothing less will do it for them. Looks like it's going to be a dive on Easy Hoon, however. They're even pulling uh, Mouse there for the cast. Yeah, Easy Hoon's backing up. There's the flash you were talking about. Do they have the burst damage? Stand United. And they've got the cask as well, but decide to hold on to it as they kill Easy Hoon. Long still joins the battle. Can he stay in there? As he delivers that kill back in, trying to follow up. Scout is walking along with him. Easy Hoon kites it around, goes through the tidal wave, and his score is escorted to safety. Meanwhile, Bangi and Long are turning this around. That's Nether Grasp onto Bangi. He's not very tanky just yet. He gets locked down. Long eats his snare and is dying to the Blade of the Rune King of Zet. So EDG are able to take a quick two kills. And ultimately, it was a five versus five. Mouse is cutting up underneath them now. Yeah, they managed to stack it up. They managed to get the arrow and tether onto Easy Hoon. Tuan Tuan P is separated by Mouse, but they managed to kill Mako before EDG can collapse. But this is why the up. They've now got themselves in quite a pension. Bangi was locked up. Yeah, he's caught right now. Down to half. The arrow catches Caveman, and Tron Tron P is separated by the cast. He flashes. Stan United, he's trying, but he goes down. Trying to burst someone on the backside, but it's up to Easy Hoon right now. He's kiting it away as Fire Lolly has got his number, chases him back, and will force Caveman over the wall as Long tries to get away. Bangi's already made it away, but EDG get the cooldown on Realm Warp. They kill the Kogma and they clean up the fight. And Vici buy into EDG's hands. We were in this beautiful tug of war of objectives, and yes, it was Scout that kind of eked the initial advantage for EDG, but there was the one two punch. Looks like they might be trying to end the game right now. They've got two super minions, and Easy Hoon is being delayed by Mako. Edward Gaming can end the game right here. That's a banner onto a, on a regular minion, and they will burn through those Nexus turrets so quickly. Not a chance for Vici Gaming. And despite being at a gold advantage, Vici Gaming lose game number one, and it's EDG who come out victorious. And those are the games that hurt left open. We could have seen Mouse that go that direction. He had a lot of success with it on trying to interrupt a lot of those key Shin ultimates. So I like the fact that Bengi is kind of putting his hand up and saying, you know, I'll take the bullet for the team. Level six from Scout. Oh, Xuan Xuan P is not long for this world. The wall and the teleport, they're bringing everybody. Ah, oh, poor guy but they need to act fast. And that's going to be first blood on to Scout as he tries to clear out that minion wave. Here's some far back, but you can see Scout has got a freeze pushing into him. Bengi's even showing up to break out what Mouse is doing. Manages to catch him. That's Stan United as well. Caveman's trying flash. to get around. Turns it around, Long follows through, and they will be able to get that one, but they trade that kill over, looking for another execution. Chuan Chuan P, oh no! Oh, poor guy goes down. It's a two for one, uh, excuse me, two for two trade. It gives them safety to dive the mid lane tower because the Shin won't be as powerful coming in, or it gives them the option to also dive Shin. Oh, they managed to catch an arrow onto Chuan Chuan P, and he dies to Mako's plants. That veritable garden, and even dancing on top of the minions.
might have been laughing in game, but he is anything but in that player profile. And now it's just a patient game from EDG. So not only did they get the Kogma, but they're surely going to get this mid lane tower. And the wave is already being prepped for them towards the top side. This is a very easy rotation. If again, that one two punch where they pick up the kill gold, they get the objective, and possibly more. Then he is caught out. And oh my god, the damage! An aggressive flash forward and heal from Mako as the turret goes down. Caveman is kicked and hand delivered to Zet. Two to six as EDG, 12 minutes in, make it look like it's a 19. Hard flash. Oh no! The wall locks them in. Stand United and whoa, the knockup catches Fire Lolly on his way in, but that's Lulu separated. Stranglethorns forces the disengage, but the catch long on the way out. Teleport is being completed by Mouse. Here comes Equalizer. He's got the red two in this one here. They're showing a good case why they deserve to fight for that best team in the league title. They just look so much more confident. You can see they immediately see Bangy down here. Scout's like, you're not oh, going anywhere. man, is he going to solo kill him? Savage. Absolutely savage. Thank you, Paul. Well, Kog'Maw Lulu, without items, not the way to do that. They're gonna try to force the fight as the arrow goes across. Equalizer as well. They brought Easy Hoon. Lung tries to get in. The wall separates Bangi and Chuan Chuan P tries to get the execution, but Mouse walks away with oh, his no. life. Zet overextends, but so too does Chuan Chuan P as the AD carries trade mistakes and one of them trades his life. Sonic Wave means Fire Loli is set to follow up. Flashes the wall aggressively. Lung will try to trade his life and Mouse is coming back. Bangi turns it back around. Scout finally falls as Mouse looks to collapse, but Zet has had all this time to free fire. Beachy Gaming are being cleaned up. Easy Hoon again, the sole survivor, will drop as Fire Lolly styles on him by dashing to a minion. Mouse looks to finish this one up here, though. He's got blue up. Can they catch that karma? Uh, well, she's going to die to the creeps. Yeah, it's like a game show. Catch the karma, ladies and gentlemen. Taking bets. Dun, 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 dun. Ten seconds to go. Lands the tether, heals himself up. Tank karma is online. He's dropped to go into the turret, though. Chuan Chuan P clears it out. Easy Hoon finally will die as he's corralled into that turret and the middle inhibitor turret. Quick wall separates him from his team, but he uses it once. He's caught and tosses the cask. It's thrown in. And Baron is now picked up by EDG. They managed to destroy Mako with a quick explosion as Fire Lolly will hop his way over the wall. So Vici Gaming get the consolation prize. Excellent chain CC there from EDG. Sonic Wave. Long catches Mako though, and he gets a lot of burst. Flashes away. Equalizer on top of the minions, but they haven't finished the turret. Bangi is the first to fall. But Chuan Chuan P is still topped up. Hold on though. This is EDG actually uh, baiting into to EDG and look for the fight there. With that, finally, they will break this inhibitor. Flash forward from Chuan Chuan P. The auto follows as Zet runs to the hills. Fire Lolly is not so fortunate. He drops to Chuan Chuan P. And this means that EDG don't get either in him. Yeah, they break the main tower, but Scout making that decision may have cost them their Easy Baron. Flash snare onto Mouse. They're getting the consolation prize, but that's now working out for a lot of kills in their favor as Mouse now dies. That is two members of EDG dead in this <laughs> I mean, EDG are still afraid to approach the They're like a wounded animal backed into a corner, but it's still a vicious animal. Yeah. Got to respect it. Arrow will find Easy Hoon. Flash Snare, they're following up. Wild Growth and a Stand United. Easy Hoon finally gets followed up upon as they throw everything and the kitchen sink to bring him down. Chuan Chuan P is separated by a wall and an equalizer as Long loses his GA. Scout flanks from the side. Chuan Chuan P, it's now or never, buddy. He's in the front line. He's caught by the stair, trying to fire away, but he dies. And with Long, or excuse me, Chuan Chuan P and Easy Hoon dead, that's VG Gaming surely going to lose this. Long tries to, but he dies to fire Lully and Scout. Bengi and Caveman will walk it back. And with 30 seconds before Easy Hoon is back up, you have to imagine that this is going to be game. And every key cooldown was used to keep Easy Hoon alive, which meant that it wasn't there for Schwan Chuan P. But again, miscommunication from Vici Gaming. Why not try to make use of the fact that Easy Hoon was the target step forward? It was a great Weaver's Wall from Scout. It was a great setup from the rest of the team fight. But ultimately, EDG will win. Yes, EDG are victorious. They turn on to the Nexus and they are able to finally end that Vici Gaming's life. Place your bets on more than 15 eSports games. Deposit and withdraw easily using many worldwide payment methods. Place your bets live while enjoying the game. 
We offer 24-7 support and bonuses for every new user. Bet now on ArcaneBet.com.